Hey everybody, it's Marvin from AirWeb, and in this video I want to show you a new update that just came to Spline. And this is something that's really interesting that you can do with your Gaussian splats. So let's go ahead and delete this scene, and I want to import a Gaussian splat into this 3D viewer. So let's just go to our scenes and pick one right here. Let's see, this cactus one looks pretty cool. I'm going to make sure that everything looks good to be able to throw this one into it uh, we got some floaters right here on the top so let's go ahead and get a better one let's see i think this one is a pretty good overall scene doesn't have floaters on the top cool all right so this is going to be our scene that we use just jump into here and download your splat file and unzip that so that way you can just drag and drop it into spline so once you got that come over here and just click import on the bottom left click on gaussian splat and should be able to see your scene in here let's see a cigar cactus so once it comes into spline what i've noticed is that it actually flips you uh in your rotation so you just have to come into your x value and put that to 180 and then you want to go into your crop area and you know change up this bounding box right here so I'm going to zoom out, change my height, give it a little bit more height, and click on this top-down view. So now we're looking here, and let me see if I can change my width, get some more width in there. Cool. All right, so if you click play, you can drag around and move around. We still have some floaters on the top right there, so if you want to get those removed, then... You click on your bounding box and you can just drag it down, which is what I like what I like to do. Um, or see, so it kind of gets cut off right there. So one fix uh, with this is to just throw it into playing ca play canvas and clean it up with the super splat cleaner that they have on there. But I'm just going to keep that little floater there for now. And another thing that I want to show you is how you can bring multiple scenes into uh, spline. So not only can you just import your splats in here, but you can actually import multiple ones. So I'm just going to grab a random one that I have on here. Let's see uh, this construction site, for example, let's throw that in there. So we got a cactus and a construction site that we're just going to throw in and see what that looks like. Like I said, it comes in flip. So you have to flip that orientation, flip it to 180 and grab your crop area. So you have your bounding box. And then you can go ahead and choose how much of an area that you want from your scene. So I'm just going to move this around. So we get this whole construction site and then apply the crop. Come back down here. It's a little weird. Uh, it's a lot smaller than the cactus. So instead of making the cactus smaller, I'm just going to make the construction site bigger. So I'll lock my orientation. Move that up to like 400, probably a lot more than that. Let's do a thousand. Okay. That's a pretty big. <laughs> then now you have your cactus in the middle there. So let me go ahead and just move the cactus. I think that'll look a little bit better if it's like in the middle area. Cool. Sweet. Got my cactus. <laughs> my construction site the cactus is like sucking into the ground so you can just change that up over here with the little drag and drop controls and it's really really easy to just come in here and actually clean up a scene uh, and create like whatever you want you know I've been playing around with this you can throw in characters and actually fly around and the cool part is that you can actually just embed this uh, with this iframe right here and just throw this into you know, your website, whatever web experience that you have, and people can move around it themselves. So I think this is a really, really unique update. Oh, actually, my cactus is a little crooked right here. So let's just kind of tweak that, go back and forth with it. But you get the point. You can merge your splats, have one interactive scene, and create whatever you want. This is literally just a test, but I think we're going to be creating some really cool things here. Uh, as we get creative with the scenes and, you know, maybe build something that's a little bit more themed out, has some more intention to it, build like a little storyline with it. But yeah, that's the new update from Spline.